How's it going today, folks? Uh, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different or we, we already started doing something a little bit different. And I am working on cleaning the blower motor for my O2 Dodge Ram 2500. And what I've noticed is the last week or two, uh, when I put the blower motor on for the heater, I've been hearing something rattling around in there. And I was really hoping there was just a few uh, maple seeds in there, but I got underneath there today and I took the thing off this is what the inside of my uh, my blower motor looks like and uh, I think we'll agree that that's pretty nasty um, it looks like some mouse I don't know if the mouse made the nest in there or um, made the nest farther up and the stuff got sucked in but um, you know that explains the uh, the noise I've been hearing when I turn my heat on and it also uh, explains the, the unmistakable, unmistakable uh, mouse pee smell. I just want to give you guys a couple tips if your blower motor is making noise and you got to clean it out. Uh, the first thing was the, the manual did say to disconnect the battery before you unhook the electrical uh, stuff. And um, I, uh, I didn't. So hopefully we're going to be okay with that. Uh, the other thing is there's three screws that hold it on and there's one around the back that is just a real bear to get to. You know, I tried every concoction I know of to get to that thing. I got this little mini ratchet. It's a 5 16 I tried this little mini ratchet, didn't work. I tried my, uh, my gear wrench wrenches, which have the action that can't get them in there. Uh, I got a 3 8 which, which has a funny look to it and an extension didn't work. And then I just tried my old-fashioned straight uh, gear wrench type wrenches. None of these things worked. And I also tried this little guy here, which there's not enough room. It's like, it's like the worst possible spot to put a nut. The secret to getting that little screw out, or it's a screw with a nut head, is just get your basic 5 16 box end and just do it like an eighth of a turn at a time. And uh, you know, rather than struggling with all that other stuff, just from the start, do it an eighth of a turn at a time. And I'd recommend you get the one in the back out first, so the other two hold the thing up, and then, and then get the other two. The other two are a piece of cake. And when I put this back on, what I'm gonna end up doing, I'll put the two in the front on first, and then go ahead and do the one in the back so I can have something to hold it. But let me go, uh, let me go put my respirator on, uh, put some gloves on, get the shop back and clean this out and uh, see if we can get her back in. One other thing I did want to mention that I did is, you know, it's about 30 degrees out right now. Uh, I put my electric fan for inside the house in the truck and ran it for about an hour before I did this, just so that things are warmer. And, uh, you know, at least I've got a little bit of, of warm air blowing on me. The sun was out, it wasn't so bad before, but it's starting to cool off a bit. Uh, I took the floor mat, I put it in the snow, and then I have like a little knee pad I'm, I'm leaning on too to separate myself from the snow. But um, let me go clean the sucker out. So there is our cleaned uh, fan motor, and most of the junk was right, you know, it was right around the outside. I just took a pair of gloves, pulled it out, hit it with the vacuum, it came off pretty quick. And then uh, this little shroud goes on the outside of this. This is a heavy little motor. I mean, I guess if you order the motor, this is what you get, but uh, it's definitely a well, a well-built piece of uh, piece of equipment there. And then, let's see if we can get you under. So, right here is where the blower motor goes, and you see right where my finger is right here. This is the screw that's really hard to get to. There's one here, there's one here, and then there's another one over here. But uh, I don't see any critters up there. You know, I stuck the vacuum up that hole, nothing came out. I didn't hear any loud sucking noises. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this thing back in and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. While I'm down here, I just wanna show you the best position to get this one in the back. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your smallest 5 16 wrench, put your finger over the whole box on the box end wrench, and then you'll just move your hand behind and you can kind of feel for the bolt. I 
and uh, okay I'm on now so then what you would do is you just you're only gonna have like an eighth of a turn at most even possibly a little bit less motion so if you're loosening you you'll just move it till you hit the fan motor if you're tightening you'll move it till you hit the uh, the pillar support there but this is the way uh, you know, you can try any tools you want, guys, but this seems to be the best way to get it out. And yeah, it's going to take you maybe five minutes and you're going to have a sore arm, but you can try other things. This is the way that worked for me and it would have saved me about a half hour if I just did this from the start. Okay, guys, we got everything back in and let me just show you what it looks like. So there's a couple... There were a couple wires. This is the wire that you have to disconnect if you wanna take it out. There's a little connector up top here. I don't know what this is, but it's secured over here. And then around the back, there's a little tube that just, you just slide it down from the bottom. It's some kind of a drain tube. This, uh, this rubber was very dry, so I hit it with a little bit of silicone. I just sprayed it with some silicone. And uh, we should be good to go, guys. But uh, this is very doable. It's one of those things that's uh, it's frustrating as heck the first time, but I know next time probably will take me about a half hour. I think today I am into it for about an hour, hour and a half, and it was very frustrating uh, until I got that bolt out and figured out the secret. So thanks a lot for watching today, guys, and we will uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.